Hi everyone, I have not done this in a long time so I'm a little bit rusty so please don't judge. Um, this is just a soft glam look that I done on Chloe today and I'm going to just jump ahead and get right into it. So I just started off by cleaning Chloe's face with my cellular water and then going straight in with a moisturiser and a primer. So I'm just going to work that in with a brush and make sure it's really getting absorbed into her skin just so we have a nice base later on for the foundation. And then I'm going to go in with the Becca Cosmetic Shimmering Skin Perfector and just put that down as a base for foundation as well so it's still nice and dewy underneath your foundation. So just going straight into eyes with P. Louise Base 2 and I'm just mixing that with a little bit of an Irish Sheer Glow Foundation in Valencia. Just so it's not too bright, I feel like the P. Louise base can be very bright on its own. So I'm just underlining the brows with the P. Louise brush and um, patting it onto the eyelid then. So we have a nice base for our eyeshadows later on. Also, I think this product works a lot better if you warm up on the back of your hand. And then, as you'll see, I'm just going to blend out the edges as well um, on the sides. Just so there's no harsh lines later on when we're going to add the foundation. So next, just adding an inner corner and brow bone highlight. This is MAC O'Darlin. And I'm just using a little bullet brush to get right into the inner corner and the brow bone. Right, so this next product I'm actually really excited about. I only tried it just today and I'm obsessed. So this is the NARS uh, Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base in Dark. And I got it in Dark because it will actually act as kind of like my first shadow. So I'm just placing it on as I'd usually would, would with a shadow and blending out the edges then in the shape that I want the shadow to be in so that kind of wing shape I've got a clean brush in my other hand and I'm just blending out the edges with the clean brush as you can see this next palette actually really surprised me as you can see it's well loved um, so this is the Carter Beauty Warm Velvet palette and I'm just taking I think the shade Regal and just starting to build up an actual shadow now so this is the first uh, shadow product I've gone in with powder product and I'm just doing the same shape again just really accentuating that and also bringing it back towards her eye and then I think it's TL13 on a more tapered blend brush just to get right into the crease and build up that colour again so once your shadow is built up to the depth that you like it you're going to take the first brush that we used with the regal jade and then just blend out the edges of the darker brown So next up is a pencil that was recommended to me by Jade Nola Makeup and I'm obsessed. It's called Mambo and it's by NARS. Um, definitely worth it. I just think I'll be ordering so many more. So what I'm going to do is just kind of create a little like wing just on the outer edge of Chloe's eye. Just to get, lift it up a little bit and give it more of um, you know that like swooped up shape. I think it's very flattering so I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to use a little bullet brush. And I think the shade is called Truffle. So I'm just going to use that on a little bullet brush to start blending out the edges of the liner so it's not really harsh and it's just a real soft smoky liner. Also going to use that shade truffle just to kind of blend the liner towards the uh, inside of her eye also. I don't like making it too dark in there. I feel like it can just really close your eyes. So I'm just using the brown shade. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. That was just a little tester. So then out of the same palette just taking the shade golden and I'm just going to use my finger to press this onto the inner corner of her lids just to build up a nice gold kind of reflect. And then I will pick up Gatsby by Peaches and Cream and just use a brush this time just to place it more uh, precisely. I'm not using any um, glitter primer or anything, I'm just going straight in onto the lid because you have got a base, the P. Louise base and the Nars base so it should just stick and it should be fine. And then just going in with some micellular water just to clean up underneath Chloe's eyes. So next going in with NARS uh, Custard Concealer. And I'm just going underneath her eyes as a base for her eyeshadow. I will actually use um, the Smudge Proof NARS eyeshadow base as well as like an eyeshadow too you'll see now. 
and just a little bit of the Gatsby again more or less on the inner part of her eye and the bottom if that makes sense you'll see as I'm doing it but um, it just will really open up the eye as well Well, just taking the Nars pencil again in the waterline. This is Mambo, the same one that we used on the top. Just um, tight lining and in her waterline just to pull the look together. But as you can see, it's actually just amazing. I'm obsessed with this eyeliner. And then just some mascara and a spoolie. Placing on lashes I got off AliExpress. They're called L09. Look them up. Um, then the Kevin Aquan uh, Neo Elixir Beauty Weightless Oil. I mixed that in with the foundation and just before I put on her foundation, which is NARS, I am just putting on some lip care, the Alpha H, and that's all I've done. So if anyone has came to me for makeup, they know I actually apply foundation with a lip wand. I feel like a foundation brush actually absorbs half your product and you don't get like your full money's worth because you're wasting half of it. So I will apply the foundation oil on either a cotton bud or a lip wand and then just pat it in with a buffing brush or a sponge for more sheer coverage. But Chloe wanted a bit more of a full coverage so I will pat that in then with just a buffing brush and make sure it's really setting into the skin. And then next is just the same concealer as before, the NARS and Custard and going underneath the eyes, the centre of the face, down the middle of the nose and just above her lip. This sponge is the Ruth Bergen um, X Rebeluna collection and I'm literally obsessed with it. It's like a uh, marshmallow. I'm obsessed. <laughs> you look great. So then I'm just using um, MAC Face and Body in N9 to cream contour. So cheekbones, forehead and the sides of her nose. So I'm going to use the same brush that we use for foundation to blend the contour in. I feel like because we already have product on this brush, it will help the contour blend way more seamlessly into the skin. So you don't actually see that like harsh blunt line, if that makes sense. And then just taking that same Ruth Bergen sponge from Rebeluna and just blending the sides of her nose. So using Tiger Lily Queen by Nude Sticks, I'm just patting that just on her apples off her cheeks just to give her a nice glow. I'm like obsessed with blush, it's not even funny. And then taking the Glowgasm Beauty Light one by Charlotte Tilbury. Obviously it's well loved, there's actually not even anything left in it. <laughs> but a little bit of that then on a Ruth Bergen brush and I am just going to pat that into the cheek above my other cream blush just to build it up. And have a real nice strong bull lash colour. Because I'm actually obsessed. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Anyway. So for under eye powder. I actually mix Fenty Beauty powder in banana and RCMA together. So it's not too yellow and it's not too white. Even though RCMA says it's translucent. I feel like it does leave a bit of, white, of a white cast. So I'm just using that underneath the eyes and underneath her cheekbones just to kind of set that. It's not really baking, it's just to set it. I will dust it off and then MAC Dark Tan, nothing left in that really either. And MAC Dark Tan just to start to um, bronze. Like I'm watching this video as I'm editing it and I'm like, okay, I need this, I need that, I need this. I'm only realising as I'm watching the video anyway so mac uh precious a uh, freely precious blush sorry it's actually mentioned so i will spritz the face first and then ruin the blush so it really catches the highlight in the blush so as you can see i'm just patting it on top of the cream i don't want to lift or disturb any products underneath so i'm just really patting it in and then charlotte tilbury hollywood spot spotlight um wand as a highlight just on the high points of the face For brows, I go in with the Essence Make Me Brow and uh, Primark or Penny's uh, Brow Gels. So I'm using the Essence Brow Gel first to really build up the brow shape that I want. I prefer a fluffy brow. I hate brows that are too structured. I feel like it just makes people look angry. Um, So I like when a brow looks more natural and it looks like it's actually your eyebrow. Rather than filled in with like just loads of black stuff. I don't know. 
So yeah, I was fluffing out the eyebrows with the gels and then using a clean brush, an angles brush, just to use whatever gel has catched onto the hairs to fill in the gaps in between the hairs, if that makes sense. Um, it takes a while to get used to, but once you get the hang of it, it's so easy. And I'm just lining Chloe's lips then with Toffee Lip Liner from Pennies and MAC Honey Love Lipstick. Oh, I actually forgot a lip gloss, so I just use the Becca Skin Perfector just to highlight the center of her lips, and then that's it. I obviously use setting spray, but that's the whole look done. I hope you enjoyed it, and I wasn't boring too much. Thanks for watching, and bye.